Good news, everyone. Matthew here with another episode of Minecraft. So, as you can tell, I've gotten some things fixed. I got my portal fixed, blah, 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 all that other stuff. I've got a plot that I can play with now. Uh, the plot I found was taken in town. I'm going to be playing with a different one. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do there, but I will do something eventually. Right now, it's not my main thing. But earlier today, me and a bunch of people, uh, probably about six of us, we went caving, and we got a bunch of stuff for me, which is great. Uh, I've been building up my Notre Dame and things like that, but um, mostly I discovered lots of new things. Uh, I had a couple of people give me blocks of diamonds. I discovered you could take a block of diamonds or a block of iron or blocks of other things and stick them on the crafting table and it'll turn it back into nine items because it takes nine to create them. It's a space saving technique apparently. I did not know you could do that. So here I was looking to just mine individual diamonds to use for my crafting table well now I know that I don't need to do that so right now I'm gonna breed some cows hopefully make myself another book and we're gonna make a craft enchanting table I would also gotten some lapis and I made some blue cows see I've got a oh I'm out of wheat I can't breed them I was gonna make another light blue cow I want to make blue and green and teal maybe I don't know I'm gonna try and find out see what we can do oh I still have a potion of fire resistance that they gave me from earlier today um, that was one of the things I was working on was my that crafting table, my enchanting table, trying to get that going. Uh, Notre Dame, as you can see, it is much larger. It, this thing is maybe half done for the floor plan, and look how far I've come out. I mean, if you remember at all, uh, there was a little lake back here. It is now underneath. Um, I've taken out a lot of the trees that were in here just to get rid of them. I mean, there is a lot that I have done to build this up in the last couple hours today. Um, I discovered the best thing to do is build a little pen with a thing, put a crafting table in there and some basic supplies so that way I can retreat here at night, kill everything that comes close unless it's a creeper. But everything else I can kill. Uh, skeletons don't seem to really come close. So I wasn't really going to worry about skeletons too much. Because uh, they didn't seem to be bothering me. But anyways. So we're going to kill a couple of cows. Hopefully we'll get some leather. I just need one. Okay. Okay. Don't need to kill all my cows. Got my leather. Enough to make two books. We'll make two books. <clears throat> Stick one in there. Put the rest of the paper back. And I got some lapis, like I said. I was happy about that. I found an emerald. That was really cool. Bunch of things. Some of this they gave me. Some of this was mine. Uh, the redstone was great that they gave that to me. Uh, I'm really happy about that. Um, which is great. Uh, I didn't realize I had a stack of iron blocks. And I did not know that, like I said, you can't break them down. It's great that I can do that now. I'm very happy. Um... Because now I know that, oh, I don't need coal, I need diamonds. So, if I remember correctly, I'm going off my memory here. I don't want to, I want to see if I can do it without looking it up. Hmm. 
there it is. Enchantment table. So now I got my enchanting table. Let's load that into my toolbar. So now I got an enchanting table. It means I can enchant things if I wanted to. I don't know what these mean yet. Uh, I'm going to have to find out. Um, I'm sure there's a little guide somewhere, but now I can enchant, which is what is good. See if Trevik knows what's going on here. <clears throat> I'm going to ask him if he knows what's the minimal number I can add to that. But I'm going to see if he's going to answer anytime soon. Okay, so it depends on the I pick. Hmm. Interesting. So three different enchantments. Interesting. So you can do it with both books and putting the item on the table, which is interesting. I thought it would be one or the other, but it looks like you can do both. <clears throat> so that's good news for me. I can create a pick with a bunch of stuff on it. So I have a lot. But I'm not as worried about it as I was with picks now. Because I've discovered I've got a lot more diamond than I thought I had. <clears throat> But anyways, we'll do some enchanting here. I'm going to try and fill up some of this. We'll show you what else I'm going to get done today. But I'll probably play with some chanting here in a little while. Alright, I'm back. I've uh, been doing a few little things here and there. A ton of work on Notre Dame. As you can see, I am now at 30 levels of experience. Which means it's now pretty much time to start enchanting. Uh, I have sixteen books. Uh, I talked to Raj earlier. He told me he had eighteen, and that was max. I'm going to see if I can get a few, few more books here.
Because I'm going to need to get at least one book. Because I'm going to enchant books. Instead of normal items, I think. I don't know yet. Let's see here. Depends on how much I get. Oh, I got six. Okay, so he gave me something. Move cows. Move calves. There we go. So I'm going to make two more shelves just to play safe. I think we only need 15 is what I was reading. Uh, if that's right. But eh, a couple extra probably won't hurt me. So we got eight books. I'm going to enchant books. So that way I, then I can enchant weapons. But I'm going to go with uh, 30 levels. I'm told you can go up to 39. I don't... I was told it's pretty much pointless at that point. <clears throat> so, this is what we're going to do. Ah, oh, man, I need to remember to just drop more of this stuff off even more easily. So, what am I looking for? Oh, wood. That's what I need. So, let's make two more shelves here. Excuse me, but anyways. Take that one. Put it right there. I'll stick that right on the shelf there. So we're good there. Take our book and put it right there. I don't think I can do anything. Thing, right? Nope, because it's already done. Eight, nine, and twenty-four. Well, I'm told this is pretty much random what you can do. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. Feather falling four. Not bad. Uh, what I need to do is put it on a good pair of boots. Uh, let's make some diamond boots and enchant them. I think I still have to pay to... Oh, boy. I've got to drop some stuff off here. That's the problem. But basically, I was just... You know, doing this a bunch because I had all that stuff. Gathering all that because I get that experience. And then I was uh, killing zombies a lot, too, by standing outside of my little kind of killing pen and just running around outside of it, letting them come to me. And, you know, I killed ten, ten of them at least at night, so I got quite a bit there. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to stick this in here. Okay, let, no, no, let's make some... Uh, make some of those. Put those gems back in there. <clears throat> and let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. I do not know how to do this properly, so let's see here. Do I. Enchantment cost six. Told you can change it. Okay, so you can't do it any other way, so that's got to be first. I still got enchantment. So diamond boots falling six. So I got six feather falling diamond boots, which are better. Oh, I've lost my other boots. Yeah, I did. I just have golden boots there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put those in here. And I'm going to enchant them more um, later on. But that's not what I need to do. But as you can see, I got enchanting done. Um, learning how to do it. Even though the book was probably more expensive to enchant that first. 
than anything else. And as you can see, this thing is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and I'm hearing something that's probably from underneath that's not all blocked off anymore. Um, probably just stuff spawning in there like crazy. Uh, I'm going to have to cut down all these trees that are growing in the middle. Uh, I saw this over here earlier as I was building. And it is... Who was it? It was... Uh, oh yeah, Sir Maximus. Uh, and my thing is going to go straight through this mountain. I just realized that earlier. Uh, right before I decided to start coming to record. Um, yeah. So right now it's crazy, crazy big. I would say this is about the half, little over halfway point right here. And I started saying I am done with everything else and I was just going to... Do I have that on me? I want to keep that clock in there so I know what's going on. Um, just so I know what's going on here. As you see, I started building through uh, right here. Run to... And I'm just kind of doing the outside edges, marking them off where I know they would normally be at. And I'm just trying to get that done, honestly. Just to get an idea of how big this sucker's really going to be. Because it is going to be big. I could tell you that much right now. But uh, I think I got to do three more, four more of these right here. This going that far and there are four across so one two three there's four five so this would be the other one so but as you can see like I said this thing's gonna be huge uh, I hope no one's gonna get that pissed at me because I'm building something so big but uh if worse comes down to worse, I could tear it down. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to. It's a lot of work, but I mean, what's gonna? Ha I mean, what? I mean, really? I mean, don't think anyone's gonna be that pissed. I mean, people build stuff all the time. Uh, I'm just kind of out here where nobody is, so uh, we'll see. But I think I'm gonna call it a night. It's pretty late. It took me a very long time to get my enchanting up to 30 because I was doing it very slowly, because I was mostly just doing that crafting stuff, you know, the smelting. Uh, I was pretty much focusing on only smelting, because I didn't want to try and kill too much. I did not want to, excuse me, die. And that's something I've wanted to avoid at all costs. And as you see, I built a second killing pen so I could put a sword and build swords and things and right there and I got a lot of sheep now blue and yellow I also tried this and I thought it would work I was gonna breed blue and yellow together because I know if you breed a white and blue together you get a light blue which was my goal and I was like all right I want some light blue too oh crud I always do that so I thought the button was right there but no, um, I saw it thinking yellow and blue make green. I figure my art degree's got to be good for something, right? Apparently in Minecraft they don't follow the standard rules of paint mixing. So, uh, I actually found out that it was cactus. Uh, did I grab it? No, it did not. And you just melt it. Which is odd. You're smelting a cactus to make green dye. Now, I am curious whether or not I could take this cactus green dye and turn it into teal with a blue. I don't think I saw anything about it on Wiki, but I'm going to try that eventually and see what happens. Um... You know what? Let's give it a little bit of a try, and I'll start the green. All right, so I made green. Oh, well, is that light blue or is that a cyan? It's a, it's kind of a cyan-y color. So it did change. Oh, 
Okay, I need to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit of darker, light bluish color. He's almost a cyan. So it does work to do that. Oh, crud. I have way too many sheeps. Sis. Move, sheeps. Move, babas. Move. These calves are like hungry little bitches. Okay, you're done. I'm not giving you any more food. Screw you guys. So I'm curious what will happen if I breed. Him. And him. Let's see here. Ah, uh, they make a green. Okay. But the green and the blue together do make a cyan, it looks like. Where's my little cyan buddy go? He's going to be my favorite color. Oh yeah, he's definitely not light blue. But he's definitely not blue. So, you can do some interesting color mixes. Ooh, let's try this one. I'll just make a mm, kind of a greenish colored one, light green. We'll mix those two together. Move! I think I need to make this pen bigger. But anyways, so yeah, there is a little bit of color mixing in this game. Uh, not too much, just not the way I think it should be, but whatever it is, right? But anyways, so... We found out we can get some interesting colors with sheep, but uh, a cyan, which is going to be my new favorite color probably. I'm probably going to tear up all my carpeting here and make it go Brazilian. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, uh, probably do that and do the rest of my flooring in cyan or something. Put it around my bed or something. I don't know. Uh, my main thing with this flooring was the dark blue was going to be, um, you know, just the path that leads through my base down the different things because I get lost in my own base it's kind of sad and let me check on my chicken farmer but anyways it sounds like tonight has been a decent night for me uh, I did a lot took a long time to do it um, so I will see you guys next time